Here is the Blue Honeywell HT900L. It's got like a kind of like a royal blue type color to it. So, you know, royal blue or just blue in general is my favorite color. So, we're going to go ahead and unbox this real quick. And the dog is barking on the video. Why am I not surprised? Anyways, we're going to unbox this real quick. It's the same one that the Super Fan Man have. And then we're going to put it over there by the computer unit where I usually, where the computer is at. And then I got to get out of here and try to get ready for work. So, let's go ahead and unbox it. Unfortunately, I don't have the TV running. Usually you hear the TV in the background, so I do apologize for that. I just haven't turned the TV on yet. But I guess you can enjoy the dog barking, so I'll be quiet and let you hear him bark. That's loose. And then we'll get to the fan. He packed it up quite well. And here's the fan. I believe this one has the PSC motor. I don't know if you guys can see it good enough. I'm pretty sure you can. Yeah, it looks like you can. It has the PSC motor. I do have a black one that has the PSC motor, but the PSC motor on that one's very weak. And it has the more rounded blades. This one looks like they went back to the the blade design they had prior to that during the 800 series. So it has that real thick blade again. So they brought that exact blade back. And this time it's running on a PSC motor as opposed to a shit pole C-frame motor. I'm not 100% sure that this is the one with the PSC motor. I don't know if they made a permanent standard yet. Where they just do away with shaded pole motors or whatnot. But we'll see. Because lately they've been playing games with everybody. Sometimes you'll get them with a shaded pole motor. And sometimes you'll get it with a PSC motor and everybody kind of gets frustrated over that because everybody wants it with a PSC motor. So hopefully, um, eventually these fan manufacturers will stop taking after Lasco and stop playing games like Lasco do with capacitors. But let's go ahead and open up this and see what we got. I hope and pray it's the one with a PSC motor. But... Whatever motor it has, it's still good. So let's hope it has a PSC, but here we go. And we're going to keep the box. No, I don't have room in the studio for boxes. I don't keep boxes. I barely got room in the studio for the fan, let alone keep a box. That's not going to happen. I do apologize about that if y'all was answering that question. There's the answer to that question. I'm not going to keep a box. I don't keep boxes. Here's the manual. It's showing you three different variants that they make. And there is the model numbers to those variants. If you care to read the model numbers. I know the lighting is bad in here. I do apologize. I don't have the lights on like I usually do. This is not my normal studio time. So my apologies to you today. Sounds like the moment of truth that we all been waiting for. Do we have a PSC motor or did it come with a doggone shaded pole motor? Because some of these come with shaded pole, some come with a PSC, unless they stopped playing that game and made the PSC motors a standard. So let's see what we got. I hope they have that, but if not, well, we just gotta deal with it. Let's see what we got. Pull the thing out, see what we're doing with. I'll break all those boxes down. Alright, which one do we have? Does it have a PSC? Does it have a shaded pole? Well, interestingly enough, I'm grateful, I'm thankful that this one is the exact same one that the Super Fan Man has. And if you look right here, I don't know if you can see it because the lighting is bad. It does have a PSC motor. Look right there, look, let's see, can I show it to the side? I don't know if y'all, you can see part of it has the blade right there yeah let me just show it from here there you go yeah right there it has a psc motor so yes 
That is the PSE motor, and you can see they brought back that blade set they had prior to that on the 800 series. That's the 800 series blade set. They brought it back, the same thickness and everything, and now running on a PSE motor as opposed to a Shader Pro. So this is the second one on the PSE motor. I watched the Super Fan Man's, and his seemed pretty powerful and pretty strong, so they've really given that capacitor more power now to drive the blade than they did when they first started coming out with it. So it's probably the second generation of this PSC motor, much more powerful. So we're going to get this thing plugged up and get it running on the table. And then we'll put it over there by the computer and let it run for a while. And that's going to be it for this video. So one second, as always, I'll get you guys up on the table. All right, we're getting ready to run this thing to see how much airflow it actually drives. And I believe most of the fans in the studio are pretty much off for now, so it's not going to cause an air hindrance. And uh, let's see what we got. Here we go. Let's run this. Okay, so that's full power. You should be able to hear the wind stream. It's getting right up to speed. It has a PSC motor, and it seems that the motor has a much more powerful capacitor to get that band right up to speed, pretty much like the 800 series, way back when they had the 800 series and the thicker base. So I'll be quiet as you hear it. Okay, let's spin it down. The spin down time might not be that great because it's going to take time for the oil to uh, work its way to the bearings. So you know how that goes. It has to break in. So here we go. Spin down time. Pretty decent. Like I said before, it's going to take time for it to, to break in. Once that happens, it should be a little bit better, more natural. Anyways, there you go. There is my... Blue, and I wouldn't call it royal blue. It's more like a, um, a lavender, between lavender and sky, maybe. So it's a pretty cool um, blue color scheme. But there it is, the HT900L, whatever the L stands for, with the PSC motor and blue blade, which is the older design from the 800 series. The Mutt, the Fan Man, and out.